hello welcome once again and uh, today we are starting a new series for the beginners uh, we are starting a new series for the networking in the ios using the lmo fire and in this series uh, we will also learn uh, how we can make a api request using the lmo fire and in the next series we are we, we are also uh, learn how we can do the networking in, using the uh, msd url session and us url connections and we will learn the net, uh, advanced networking in the upcoming sessions so in this uh, we have already created a demo application and that we will uh, we will recreate for the uh, for the uh, learning purpose so you can check this is the response from the bi and we are using elmo fire and sv progress set and you can check what the in the simulator and the console of the console for the response so same uh, same app we will create for our tutorial so you can check here uh, we have imported elmo fire as we progress it and here the documentation of the elmo fire you can check this url before going uh, to the start you, you can uh, read this documentation you can check here are the intro HTTP large data and tools that we will require so this is a very well written uh, documentation for the LM, LMO fire so before going to the deep you can uh, read that document and then come to the uh, implementation So we are uh, in this video for the beginning purpose. We will use only uh, uh, only the making a request, and these are the other features like the changing request URL and these are the all things are available in this API. So we can say that the framework of the Elmo fire is very powerful. You can check the requirement section, section migrating guide, communication, and installation using the Cocoa Pods. I think I believe you, know, you are already aware of the how to use the cocoa port that we have learned in our previous uh, videos if if you miss that you can go to the my video section and you can learn you can also install your packet manager and manually so this is the old documentation of the alarm of fire You can check here if I'm making a request click on this this will take us the github on the github page where the all sample codes are available for the uh, for the our use you can check here sample api re uh, request and also uh, read this carefully here the this documentation is not updated you can check here they are using lmo fire but lmo fire is changed they are using AF instead of the Elmore fire in in the uh, this version so you can check in the sample in the uh, our code or the our tutorial code so here are the different type of the response you can check serialize and serialize and informat of the string and mm -hmm. data so these are the different different type of the response type uh, provided by the Almora Fire API the other response handler the other response valid validator you can check the response code and here the automatic validation go to the down http method and response caching post request json encoding you can also use the custom encoding 
like this structure this is the custom encoding so document is the well written you can go through the documentation and and you can start the implementation it's the almoro file we need to this place af in the updated document you can check in this of a simple code this one so maybe team has uh, forgot this and they will update this very soon on this github page and another one is the as we progress it we are using this uh, for the and uh, displaying the activity indicator uh, during the network call so using the uh, our port file uh, you can integrate this in our code and here is the documentation for this so you can go to this page and uh, use this and customize it customize it now we are creating our project we are creating exact same project for, for our tutorial purpose so taking the name here is the identifier and also this code will be available on my github page so you can download this from the github and link will be mentioned uh, on the uh, description of this video and also you can check out my uh, blog so I am saving this project on my desktop directory ok so project is created so you can check here we need these two files these two port files you can check it from this the elmo file page yes here it and this is the another one for the progress route so we are copying it now <coughs> oh sorry uh, we are converting our uh, xcode project into the xcode workspace so simply navigating our uh, opening open to the uh, terminal and navigating to the our project so using this command like pod in it and then open the pod file this file will be open like uh, open pod file okay so just paste the pod files here save this file and close and run the pod install command so libraries are installed open the xcode project i'm oh sorry workspace and forward the xcode project and we are using xcode project it's itself only sorry workspace only so going to the web view controller simply importing uh, headers headers of module uh, LMO fires and SV progress routes so actually I have created this demo application for the reference and and uh, saving the time for the corrections and uh, writing the code so like we will not take this video longer so we are copying this uh, variables and constants
so basically this is the user of user uh, object and this is the type of the ref uh, sorry a structure this will hold the all user information in the form of array and we call this objects this is the initializer method for the uh, in this user structure and holding this into this objects array this one and this is the uh, refresh control uh, for the pull to refresh and we are registering the cell in the builder load uh, code for the uh, refresh control adding this on the table view in the third line adding the action and this one adding the table and call for the api request you can check here uh, this is the uh, progress hood code for the displaying loading status bar so the status with the loading So we are copying it, copying it and pasting our beauty load. We need this function as well. <coughs> Sorry. Just copy from here and simply paste it below the video load. We need this method. So we are managing here like API call and a table hide and show mechanism while the we are pulling the uh, table for the pull to refresh. These are the reloading the table, stopping the refresh control when the response is uh, returned from the API call. We are not using this EUTF string. So we are commenting out we are using on the JSON response for the passing we are going to pass this over and creating the users and initializing the uh, structure and and storing it on the uh, objects array for the displaying on the table view here is the variable
so we are going to the storyboard uh, for the adding the table view simply uh, drag and drop table view mm, I think something error in the storyboard let's go it again okay simply drag and drop the table view and uh, arrange it adding the auto layout 0 0 from the top bottom and right left adding the delegates and uh, IV outlet reference for the hiding the table and uh, supplying the data source and delegate and uh, reloading the table using the IV outlet or reference <coughs> Sorry. In our view tail load, we are registering the table view cell. And we have created a X and we are going to create an extension to our table view where we can confirm our IUI table view data source and delegate. paste it here so all the required method inside the extension <coughs> data source and delegate method these are the data source method array count object dot count and populating the data on the table cell in the cell for at index method I think uh, everything is setting up uh, we can run the code excellent uh, so code is successfully running and you can check out the response on the console and some data on the table view so when we are pulling this table just like this yes so we are so pull to the passage also working and my network speed is very fast so you need to observe this very closely and this code will be available on github and so Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also share this video.